Hi everybody. So today I have a traveler's notebook haul. Um, this is going to be kind of like a, um, the stuff that I basically have bought last year and, um, this month because I, I probably didn't film some of it. At least I don't remember. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put everything together. So let's get started. So, um, I recently made an order, um, over at Traveler's Company USA. Uh, they had offered a free letterpress sticker if you were one of the first 100 to make an order. Now, I did get the sticker, but I can't seem to find where, find where I put it. So, I'm, unfortunately, I can't show it, but I want to show you what I did order. So, I was actually after the um, pencil boards, the... Uh, that they had put out for 2024. When they first came out last year, I did not pick them up because I don't know, I just didn't. And then by the time I decided I was going to, they were sold out. Um, when my friend Clarissa went to Japan last month, I asked if she could find these for me and she wasn't able to. They were sold out at Loft and Tokyo Hands. She wasn't able to go to a traveler's company store. So I was really excited when I saw that they had them in stock this month. So I went ahead and put my order. I mean, this is the real reason why I ordered. So since I was ordering, I'm, I just went ahead and got some other stuff. So I've never ordered the repair kit. The other two sets or actually one of the, the other set was sold out and I didn't want the regular one in color. So I went ahead and opted for this one because it came back in stock. So I do plan on using these for the, um, other travelers, uh, company, you know, notebooks that I'm going to show you. So I got that. And then I ordered, um, a short trip. Um, I did order actually this one in the cream but it should be white paper. I hope so, because I'm not really that big of a fan of cream. I mean, if it is, whatever, I'll use it. So um, I plan on using one of these, because I also got it in craft, uh, for my upcoming New Orleans trip. I'm gonna be leaving on Friday, uh, going for Mardi Gras. The actual, the culmination Mardi Gras is going to be on the 13th, which is Fat Tuesday. But we're going the weekend before because it's the PG-13 or PG version. Um, whereas the following weekend, since that's, you know, the actual Mardi Mardi Gras, that's going to be the let's show our boobs <laughs> weekend. And I'm going with my sister and her family and her kids and uh, our mother. And yeah, we don't want them to see that. So that's why we're going this weekend. So it's my first time doing Mardi Gras. I've been to, to New Orleans before. My sister used to live there, so she knows how to get around. Um, yeah, she's a Katrina survivor. <laughs> so anyways, I got the short trip one. I, you know, it's always good to have these on hand because a regular insert's just going to have too many pages unless, you know, you're like doing a month long trip or something, which I've done before. Um, but this should be fine for, you know, for like New Orleans. Um, so I have those, and then I also picked up some of the grid um, inserts. I've never um, used or I never purchased a grid um, insert from Traveler's Notebook, so it's going to be fun to be able to use those. My favorite, you know, type of insert is always grid. Second would be the plane. And then um, they got these in stock, and I was really, really excited. These, these are the uh, sticker release paper inserts. Now... Um, the paper that it comes with is the kind is the one that's the backing for stickers you know so the great thing about this is that you can um, take you know you can get your own stickers and stick them on and you can see there's like gloss stick them on take them off stick it back on you know if you need to so you can travel with a bunch of um, stickers already in here and not have to worry about like all the loose sheets you know so I should have got three. I thought I got three, but apparently I only got two. So, um, yeah, and the thing is, I don't have the need right now to make another order. So, oh, well, you know, unless they put something out new, um, that's probably when I'll order again. Hopefully these will be in stock. So, yeah, I picked that up. Oops, putting it in backwards. Um, <clears throat> So moving on, I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that I got last year. Okay. So let's just put this all to the side. 
And of course, you know, they included the Traveler's Times. But the funny thing is, it's just the same one. I wish they would go ahead and just like send, um, even if it's a Japanese one, I don't care. I'd just like to see some new ones. Um, I might have showed this in a previous Traveler's Company haul. But anyways, this is the Spiral Ring Notebook with the wind. It's the window envelope one. And if you carry, if you have like a lot of loose stickers, I think this is a great option. Uh, to be able to bring when you travel because the fact that, you know, it's flat and it's not bulky at all and you can just put a ton of stickers. So I like to put all of my girl stickers in here, as you can see. A lot of these I got from Shein, I think. Um, yeah, about maybe two or two years ago. Yep, so, I mean, it's I've got two of these. I believe. I don't know where the other one is. It's somewhere, but I think that one is full of stickers. So I have that. Now this, I did not purchase from Traveler's Company. Um, somebody on the Facebook Traveler's Company web, uh, I mean, group was selling one and wait, was it there or was it Macari? Ooh, maybe it was Macari that I purchased this from, but yeah, it's literally brand new, just about and it's the camel. So I really like it. I was wanting to get camel just to see, you know, cause it's, I thought it was a really pretty and it, I like the feel of the, uh, this, this particular one. So I've gone ahead and put my Memphis to SFO insert in here. This is like the limited edition California insert. And I thought it would be perfect because I did two trips last year. Um, and I had already started with this as you can see. So, yeah, and this one is dotted. And then I also included my 2024 insert. This will probably be like for me to be able to junk journal in or, you know, maybe do some entries, some sh really, really short entries. So we'll see. But yeah, I did this two weekends ago, I think, just out of boredom. So, yep. So that's all that's in there for right now. Um, and then I have this little charm that I think also came from Sheehan. It's the um, Statue of Liberty. I might, I'm probably going to put something else on there, but I just put that on there for now. And then um, I randomly came across this because I completely forgot. And it's a good thing that I came across it because had Traveler's Company had this in stock on the website, I would have ordered it not knowing I already ordered it. It's the olive, the standard um, olive notebook. I'm sorry if you hear our central heat come on. Um, yeah, I almost ordered this. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I, you know, they had it, they didn't have it in stock. So I, yeah, I think I ordered this when it first came out and got it and then put it aside and then just forgot about it. So, you know, you get your usual explanations in there and then it comes in a, um, cloth bag and here it is Put that aside so I'm gonna probably change this um, band to a different color but it's really nice but I think I need to condition the leather because it's it's really dry compared to this one and um, had I found this before I made my order I would have ordered the uh, conditioning balm on Traveler's Company but there's a Tandy leather here in um, my hometown. So I might drop by there. I'll bring this with me, show it to them and ask them um, what kind of conditioner I need to use on it. Um, so it'll kind of bring out that olive. I mean, you can see it, I think, hopefully it's showing up on camera, um, the color, the difference in color. But yeah, just with the regular standard, you know, insert. Um, not sure what I'm going to use this one for. Um, but I'm probably not going to purchase any more of the regular, um, notebooks because, you know, I don't really need the, bl the, uh, black or the brown. I already have the blue and it's actually the actual, uh, the first blue that they put out, which was the Pan Am version. That's the first travelers, uh, Midori travelers <laughs> notebook, uh, that I own. And I ordered that, gosh four years ago, maybe five years ago from my, uh, from Kinikonia in, um, San Francisco. I, I ordered it through their, uh, website. So yeah, so that is 
what I got in terms of the olive. Let me put this back in and then I'm going to show you another one because I, like I said, I don't remember if I had filmed um, a haul video on it, but I might as well throw it in because yes, I also forgot that I purchased it. I just bought it and then put it aside and then just came across it literally two weeks prior to finding the olive um, one. So kind of good that I found it because the last thing I want to do is have purchase it again. So um, there we go. I like to keep stuff in there until I'm ready to use it. So I also got the limited edition diners. Um, I, I'm not sure when this came in. I have to look at the uh, receipt, but I already have another limited edition one, which is the Passport, the records one. That one I purchased when it first came out, and I was on the fence about getting this, so I didn't. I only got just the Passport um, records one, and I'm fine with just that Passport. I don't need any more Passports unless it's another limited edition version that I like, but um, yeah, I thought this was really, really cool. Um, not sure what I'll use it for. I, I'm, I mean, I'm in Memphis and I would love to make it a, like a food, you know, themed or food inspired, whatever you want to call it, um, notebook, but we don't have as many, um, options here as like, let's say in San Francisco, if I was still living in San Francisco, hell yeah, I would totally use um, that for just like my food diary and stuff. But here, what is it? Southern food, barbecue. <laughs> That's pretty much all I would probably be posting about. So anyways, here are the, tr the charms that came with it. We got the little um, car. I'm sure you guys have seen this already from other vlog or uh, from other channels, but I'll just show it anyways. And then of course the little um, coffee mug. I believe that's a coffee mug. So that goes in here. And then what do we have here? We have, I believe it's the postcards that it came with. There's, I don't know how many, two, three, no, two. Yeah, so you got this one and you got the here. Sorry, my hands are so dry even though I just put lotion. And you got this one right here. All right. And then we got that. I think these are the stickers that it came with. Yeah. I'm not going to really show those. And then this right here does show what's inside the kit. And then of course the actual um, notebook. I like this color. I might put that one on the camel. It would look really good. And there you go. So you get a coaster, which I'll never use. And then this thing in here that explains the whole thing and all of that jazz. I like the bag. I don't know why the limited edition ones come with a bigger bag than the regular ones, but I really like that it's much bigger. And then of course the actual limited edition. I love how it's embossed, the way that they embossed it, and that it's in camel. I was like on the fence between this and the hotel one, but I don't know, I just like the, I just like this one because I think the hotel is what, black? Maybe, maybe that's why. So, um, and then of course you got the limited edition insert with the menu, which is really cute. Okay. So, Man, I totally would use this if I was in San Francisco. Because, <laughs> yeah, so many options to choose from. So many. All right, I'm just going to put that in here. So let's go ahead and put that back. Okay. I'm excited about New Orleans because I want to have some gumbo. You know? So we're definitely going to go and try a lot of stuff. All right, so we've got that. Let me get my phone out of the way. Okay, and so the last thing I'm gonna show here, I got this box here, more stuff, okay? So 
I forgot that I purchased this, so now I have another insert, um, short trip, which is, like I said, always good to have. And then let's pull this out, this out, and then this. Okay. Oh, I see some other stuff that I forgot to throw in here. Okay, let's show this. Hold on. Um, okay, we'll do this. This one is actually not an authentic traveler's notebook. Okay. So I did get these coffee bags. They're now posting again about it on their vlog. And for some reason, they're not selling them. Because if they did, I would have bought another two. Um, but I forget, I forgot when they had sold these. But they're really, really, really nice. And um, so yeah, so I did pick these two up. This bag, I think I got this bag when I was in Japan at the Narita store. Um, at the Narita airport store. So, um, and you see how big that is compared to these? In fact, I haven't even tried to see if this would fit, you know? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a little short. Look at that. But it's okay. I mean, you can tighten it, you know, if you wanted to. But yeah, that's, I guess that's probably better for passport, you know? That's interesting that they're smaller. So did pick up those bags. Now this right here, I got this when they first put out the Toyo toolboxes and I was so excited because I was curious and I wanted to see how the quality was. If I can get this out of the box. So I got the green one and I mean, it's nice, it's heavy. It's solid <laughs> and that's what it looks like. So this is really good to store your um, pens, washi, scissors, you know, everything that you would use for traveler's notebook. It'll look really good on a desk. So yeah, see, made in Japan. But I love this color. All right. And then the last thing that's official traveler's notebook I finally went ahead and got the clip. Um, yeah, I just, I wanted to have it. You know, it's gonna look really good um, when I'm working on an insert and clip it on. So, did pick that up. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show here is not an official Traveler's Notebook. I do a lot of shopping, or I used to. I don't go as often now. I used to go and shop at the bin stores. Bin stores are um, basically Amazon return stores, okay? Uh, there's like three just in my hometown, okay? Where everything on, depending on the day, um, like Fridays for two of the stores, everything in the store is $8. Doesn't matter what it is, eight bucks. Um, and then the price starts going down like Saturday it's six bucks, then fr Sunday it's $4, Monday it's $2, Tuesday it's one dollar, Wednesday it's fifty cents, and then they're closed on Thursday to restock the tables. So um, I used to go tons of times, you know, um, every basically it would be rare that I would go on a Friday because you know I don't want to pay eight bucks. I'll go on a Saturday because they're restocking the tables and everything is six bucks, right? So I found some amazing stuff. Like I actually found um, hope like Hobonichi's. Um, I found like the actual blue leather cover, for, uh, you know, in a A6 size. And then I found an A5 um, Hobonichi, like the actual diary um, in uh, Techo, you know, uh, A5. And I know that the blue cover, I think I got that for four bucks, right? And then the, um, it was a 2022 um, Techo that I had found. And I think when I found that it was like maybe April. So somebody must have bought it in January and then returned it. So I found it in April, but I already had, um, I was already using one that I purchased from, um, 
the Hobonichi website. So I just got it. So in case if I wanted to use like kind of like a day free, I could. So anyways, I'm going off topic. I found this at one of the stores and I was able to get this for six bucks. And it is a traveler's note, notebook inspired. It's by Colab, Colabus. Okay. It says, holo, I am traveler, just like traveler's notebook. And I knew when I saw that, when it said, hello, I'm traveler, I was like, oh, I don't even have to have them open it. I already know what it is. And sure enough, yeah. So it's very much like even the way that they do their packaging is like Traveler's Notebook. So this is supposed to be a blank monthly planner. Okay. And then look at that. Even the bag it comes with a pen, a stupid pen, which I don't really care about. But um, look at their bag. See? All for you. Keep writing with best journey. Bring bring you the best forever. Funny. But this is a huge bag. So let's pull it out. Look at that. It's like a um, an even lighter camel, right? I hate these type of like thingies. So I might take this off. I just don't like the way it looks. But I hate that it has this. So I might put a patch on it. But it's leather. It's real leather too, just like Traveler's Company. And it came with a lot of um, stuff. So you have the card holder, you have a folder, you've got the first insert, which is lined. Then you have, you know, there's the card and then you've got a blank insert, okay? And I think that dotted one that I'm using for 2024, I think it came in this. And then of course you got a clip here, but I mean, it, I got the whole kit for six bucks and I don't know how much cost on, um, on Amazon. I have to go look again. Oh yeah. I want to change that out. I hate these beads on there too. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. What do you think? I mean, this is like, this is the version, the camel version for travelers company. And then I got this, but it's really, really nice. Not bad. I mean, you know, if you are okay with having that Colabus, in, you know, emboss on the um, notebook, look it up on Amazon and see how much it is. I mean, like I said, it's not a bad deal, you know, for anybody that doesn't want to drop like 50 bucks or whatever it is, how much, however much it costs for a standard version on um, Traveler's Company, even on Amazon. So yeah, that is my haul in terms of like Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Company. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, not done yet. I just realized one, got one more thing to show. And I've been holding on this, waiting to like actually do this haul video. So um, let me get this out of the way. There are some stamps that I bought from um, Etsy, okay? And um, somebody had posted that they were collecting these. And when I saw them, I knew I had to get them because if you've been to a traveler's, or traveler's company store or you've participated in the stamp caravan, you know, with their partner stores, you would know what these stamps are. So I got five stamps and they are just like the um, ones from Traveler's Company. And let's see here. So you'll see, I just gotta make sure it's right side up. First one. So it's just, I have to go and look at the ones that I had um, done when I was at Narita, but it looks just like them at the store. Oh, well, I, I like that. There you go, the boarding pass one. Or not boarding pass one. It's like the, what do you call this? You know, when you uh, mail something and they stamp the stamp. I forgot what they call it. Okay. Oh, is this going to be upside down? Yeah, it's going to be. I've got to mark a wear on here so I can keep it straight. Because see, look at that. I thought I had it on straight, but I don't. So I'm going to use a little metallic marker. And then this one here, I know for sure, I'm pretty sure Traveler's Company has this one. 
But these stamps, they're uh, made of rubber. They're not bad quality. Sorry, it's just my stamp pad. I'm using um, the archival ink. So I'm going to clean these stamps after the video. And then the last one here, this one, I know for sure they got because I remember it saying the whole hello travelers. There we go. Gonna make sure it's straight. Yep. Let's see, hello, I am a traveler. Yeah, so these will be great to stamp. Um, on the covers of my inserts or even on the pages you know so that's my haul <laughs> that's everything i hope i am not missing anything now um because this is my second time filming the video the first one the camera had died on me the battery and then i found the you know this haul with the box and stuff so yeah um i hope everybody's having a great weekend great week all right see you on the next haul video bye